The 3030 versus the 30 6 Dave and I are going to talk about two American 30 calibers that you should know if you're into deer hunting. Hello, friends and lovers. This is Dave Trillo, and you're listening to the Ammunition Guide podcast brought to you by none other than Ammo.com. Today, we're going to celebrate my IQ with two cartridges that have 30 right in their names, the 3030 Win and the 30 6 Springfield. Now, Chris, these are, as usual, fairly incomparable cartridges, but we're comparing them. Why is that? Well, Dave, you know, these are two American classics, to say the least. And yeah, I'll agree with you 100%. The 3030 and the 30 6 don't necessarily compare apples to apples at all, other than the fact that they're both 30 caliber cartridges. But I will say, if you do need to stock up on either of these cartridges and you'd like to save some money, which who doesn't, make sure you click that link down in the description or the pinned comment. Get your $20 off coupon for ammo.com where you should be getting all of your ammunition for both 30 out 6 and 3030. But I think, you know, the big thing here for the comparison between these two rounds is really discussing what works best in each situation because there are some times when a 3030 would be the better choice over the 30 out 6 and I think that really comes down to where you live and where you're going to hunt. You're exactly right. Chris, I come from a heavily forested part of the world where the 3030 was extremely popular because shots much farther than 150 to 200 yards just were never going to present themselves in the backwoods. And Dave, you know, that's exactly where the 3030 strives the most. I would say here in the forests of Indiana and in the Midwest, you know, for the most part, you know, a 3030 will get the job done and it'll get it done with a lot less recoil than necessarily the 30 6 Now, of course, the 30 6 America's rifle cartridge, right? It does it all. But there are some times when you just need those short range shots and the 3030 can do it in a much more compact, lighter weight package. And I think that's really where the 3030 shines the most because, you know, those 30 out six rifles, they're pretty bulky. Whereas those, you know, lever actions, those things are pretty handy and pretty small. You mentioned how the 30 out six is the American cartridge, but the 3030 is no less American. This has been a favorite among deer hunters in our country for well over 120 years now. You know, I think the really cool thing about the 3030 was it was completely designed as a sporting cartridge. There was no parent case for the 3030 because Winchester said, okay, we want to make something that has less recoil than a 4570, but is great for deer and works in a lever action rifle, which was the popular rifle type for hunters at the time. I mean, the 4570 it's a big boy that that can put some recoil on you and the 3030 is like a feather in comparison uh, i think typically a 3030 is going to recoil right around 14 foot pounds you know your 30 out six is probably pushing right around 22 24 so you know about a 33 percent difference and that's noticeable especially if you want to fine-tune your accuracy at the range all day uh, that, that recoil mounts up. 3030 is just a lot, lot gentle around the old shoulder. Well, I think it's a great round to start younger shooters off of, or maybe somebody who's a little recoil sensitive, but still giving them enough power to make sure to be able to take that deer down. Now, you know, you could say, oh, why not use a 243 or, you know, something like that? Well, sometimes you just want that 30 caliber bullet behind it. There's a lot of power. It makes a bigger hole than necessarily, a, a, you know, a 243, but also there's that nostalgia factor with a lever action rifle. I mean, there's something to be said of going out into the woods with your old lever gun and feeling like you're going out to the OK Corral. And I think the real nice part of it is it's a lot more compact package. It's easier to take through the woods, whereas a full-size 30 6 uh, is going to be considerably heavier. Yeah, so we were talking about the 3030's effective range, pretty much 150 to 200 yards when deer is on your itinerary, but the 30 6 is going to give you much, much, much more room to work with. Yes, they're both shooting, you know, similar bullet weights. Uh, you know, obviously the same caliber, 30 caliber, 0 0.308, but that, you know, the, the 3030 has the hindrance of being put into a lever action rifle, which means the bullet design has to be a little bit different. Obviously with a lever action, you have these tubular magazines where the bullets stack one on top of each other. Well, you've got a point of a bullet sitting on a primer, and I'm thinking you can kind of figure out the problem that you might have if you have a pointed bullet. You could have something go off in the magazine, and that's a bad day for everybody. 
let yeah. alone your firearm in the shooter's hands. That means that lever action cartridges have to have a flat point on them or you know a more rounded point like a soft point which really inhibits their aerodynamics. Whereas a 30 6 being in a bolt action or even a semi-auto like a M1 Garand, they can use the Spitzer boat tail bullets that are really aerodynamic, give them that beautiful trajectory, that real long range. It's more efficient. But yeah, sadly, the 30-30, about 200 yards is about as far as you're going to get with it. 30 6 about three times that. You could probably reach out to about 600 yards to take a deer with that thing. And that, I think, is the real difference between these two cartridges is what time you're going to use it. You know, somebody out in Kansas who's got like wide open spaces and you're going mule deer hunting, 30 out 6 might be the better choice because you may be taking longer range shots. Whereas New England, 30 30 is probably going to do it for you. And I hate to contradict you, Chris, but there's now an exception to the flat nose profile uh, true. tubular magazine rule. Yep. Hornady introduced a line of ammunition called Lever Evolution. The bullet has the, the sharp and symmetrical meat plat you want for longer distance shooting, but the flex tip is too soft to cause accidental ignition of the primer. It touches at a tubular magazine. That said, the flex tip is not magic. Uh, I think a 3030 with with FTX ammo is still going to be fairly limited to 250 yards effective range for deer hunting. No, Dave, you're absolutely right. And thanks for bringing that up because, you know, Hornady really kind of took the lever action community on storm with that lever evolution ammunition. And it will give you a little bit better ballistics. It'll give you a little bit higher muzzle velocity, a little bit longer range. It's a little more effective. But like you said, about 250 is the max range for it. And still, that's a pretty sizable increase. I mean, that's a 25% increase in your effective range, which is nothing to shake a stick at. Uh, Chris, let's talk about ammo availability. I think they're pretty much uh, par. That said, I've noticed that 30 6 is a little more freely available when we're going through kind of a rough patch. Like, I don't think Lake City or any other U.S. military ammo producers are making M2 ball anymore, with the exception of a few blanks for ceremonial use. No, Dave, you're absolutely right. The surplus 30 out 6 is definitely starting to thin out, but you can still find it if you're looking around. Uh, I think we have some for sale here on ammo.com if you want to check that out. But yeah, there's not really a whole lot of, you know, military made 30 out 6 anymore. But yeah, I would say 30 out 6 is still going to be the more plentiful round, especially during difficult times when you're having a hard time finding ammo. It's just the hunting caliber for North America for the most part. 3030 kind of gets left behind a little bit. There's nothing wrong with the 3030, but if you're having a hard time finding ammo, the 30 out 6 is going to be the better choice. I think the 30 out 6 is is one of the three most popular medium game hunting cartridges in the United States. It's definitely one of the most popular ones right up there with the 308 and the 300 Win Mag, and I would say probably followed by the 3030 after that. I mean, the 3030 is huge in deer country, especially in these parts, uh, you know, in my area in Indiana, it, it's a very popular cartridge. Uh, but people still just love that 30 out 6. They love the power that it offers even if they don't necessarily need the range. You can still use it for deer hunting. There's no to say that it's going to be overkill because you know what i like to say guys overkill is underrated uh and there's nothing wrong with it but his question is do you need all that power at shorter range not necessarily but if you want it you definitely can get it 30 out six we're talking about effective range for deer i want to touch on its suitability for elk i don't think the 30 30 is ever used for for a large game unless that large game is trying to kill you and it's a very present emergency Dave, you're absolutely right. Uh, you know, the 3030 really is not suited for elk. Now, there are stories, of course, you know, especially out of Canada and things like that, of Canadian hunters saying, oh, yeah, you know, I one shot an elk with uh, my 3030 or even a moose uh, if we want to go even bigger. Uh, with my 3030 every year and it's it's one of those things we talk about i know your your favorite quote is like you know you can kill a grizzly bear with a 22 uh with the proper shot placement but that doesn't mean it's the best choice uh for 30 out six absolutely elk can handle it no problem you can easily take an elk with a 30 out six probably out to let me see here i got my ballistic table pulled up right around oh, about three to four hundred yards and that's a pretty good distance if you're hunting elk for 30 30 you pretty much need to be at point blank and give it a little bit of a running start really not appropriate for elk even though you can do it again it, it give yourself and the animal the benefit of the doubt go a little bit bigger for elk and especially moose well dave i think we've really covered these two cartridges about as well as we can but uh what are your final thoughts what's your preference on 30 30 and 30 out six and the 30 6 you said it all. It's a war hero. It's an inextricable piece of American history. But that's because of its, its military heritage. 
the 3030 is just as American, but it's a hunter's only cartridge. Um, I love lever actions. I'll say it again. Uh, I, I won't make use of, of the 30 odd sixes superior range for hunting, not only because I'm, I'm not that great a shot, but because I don't hunt in the kinds of places that present such long, long distance uh, game shooting opportunities. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm, I'm going around in circles here. I love them both. Glad they both exist. Insist you buy them from ammo.com. Yeah, I agree with you for sure. Uh, you know, the 3030 is really a nice little compact package in that lever action. And if you love lever actions, definitely rock a 3030. It's going to be a lot more comfortable to shoot than, say, a 4570 or something like that. But for me, it's always going to be the 30 out 6. That's my go to round. And I feel like it has the flexibility. Uh, to give you a lot of different options as a cartridge. If you're looking for like a one-stop rifle, the 30 6 really gives you a lot of range for things that you can hunt. They have even lightweight uh, you know, bullets to shoot varmint hunting. I wouldn't recommend that, but you can do it. Uh, I just feel like the 30-06 gives you a little bit more capability. Now, there is a cost with that, obviously, with higher recoil. Uh, so if you are recoil sensitive, then maybe the 30-30 is better for you. But for most hunters, I think the 30-06 is going to be the better choice, and that's going to be my call for this one, even though I will give some love to the 30-30 for uh, all those cowboys and you know cowboy action shooters out there who just love their 30-30. You rock it, brother. And make sure you get all of your ammo here at ammo.com. Like Dave said, click on that link down in the description. Get your free $20 off coupon. Also, while you're down there, click that like and subscribe button. And we will see you out on the range.